Good morning, Johnson's class. Good morning, Mr. Potty. <laughs> we typically don't say that, but it is the morning today. 7.3 variables and expressions, equations, and inequalities. Should we do this? Yeah. Quickly. A variable is a letter that represents what? A number. An expression and an equation, they are pretty similar to each other, but different. Equation, start with what four letters? Equal. What is this symbol right here? Equal. So an equation has an equal sign, and they both start with equal, right? Yeah. An expression does not have an equal sign, right? Yeah. So the difference between expressions or equations is one has an equal sign and one does not. Which one has an equal sign again? Equation. Because it has the equal in it, right? Yeah. All right, inequalities, tool used to compare numbers. Tell me what each of these are. You ready? What's this mean? What's this mean? What does this mean? What's this mean? Let's review order of operations. You ready? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is how we remember it. What does the P in please stand for? When do what does the E in excuse stand for? What does the M in my? What does the D in dear? Wait, multiplication and division are what? Which means they are... Equals. Which one should you do first? They both exist in a problem. Sweet. Uh, a and aunt stands for? Addition. S and Sally stands for? Subtraction. We know addition and subtraction are also what? Love. You do whichever one comes first in the problem, right? Yeah. Good job. Uh, 5 plus H. If I tell you that H is 3, what's the first thing you're going to do? Rewrite. 5 plus H times 4, what's the first thing you're going to do? But then, because we have more than one operation, we're going to use what to solve? Pizza slices. Pizza slices, which is order of operations, right? Yes. Ooh, this one. This is an intimidating problem, unless you are in this classroom, right? Yes. You had to solve for this, but you guys know, well, shoot, I already know that x is 4, right? Yes. You already know that 9x means 9 times x, right? Yes. And if x is 4, it's just 9 times 4, right? So we rewrite this whole problem, and you're like, okay, I can do that. I can't really do anything over here, can I? No. no. So then we use our pizza slices to solve this, right? Yeah. So we got 20. Uh -huh. And then we said, okay, well, what is y then? Well, we just had to figure out what can I plug in for y to do this math to get to 20, yeah? yeah. So if we plug in 2, what's 20 divided by 2? 10. Plus 10 is what? 20. Does that equal 20? Yeah. What was the method I just used there? Does that a valid math math? Is that a valid math method? Yeah. All right. Last thing. Sometimes you're going to be asked to prove whether something's true or false. Do you still need to show all your math? Yes. So each of these equations were being proven true or false. Um, notice this one right here and this one right here. They look almost exactly the same, don't they? Yeah. Except for the one difference is. The inequalities are a little bit different, right? And notice how it changed the answer. The answer to this one was false, and the answer to this one was true. Moral of the story is pay attention to what you're asked to do, right? Yeah. Sweet. And then the last one, write an expression for a problem below. Exactly what we've just been saying. Write an expression, read carefully. Then you're giving a little bit more information. Plug in or guess and check, depending on what you need to do, and you can pretty much solve any problem in the world, yes? Yeah. We good?